Welcome. Today I'm going to show you the integration between B4B and Sun Systems and also the B4B bank detail approval process. With Sun Systems 5 and above, it is possible to fully integrate the B4B bank detail system into your Sun Systems forms or menus. So here we can see the standard Sun Systems supplier form, which has been modified to include two links into the B4B system. So on selecting the supplier code in Sun, we can then follow the bank detail buttons here, which as you can see, will route us directly into the B4B system. On launching B4B, the supplier code is passed from the supplier form into the B4B target bank details function. If the data exists for this supplier in the B4B system, then the details will be displayed. If there's no information for this supplier code within the B4B system, then the user will be prompted to enter the data at that time. If we choose to make a change to the bank details, we can then enforce an approval process around those changes within B4B. So on saving this uh, bank detail change, we can see now the user is prompted to enter a reason as to why this information is being changed. On completing the approval request, the designated approver will be uh, notified by an email alert of the pending approval and we can see now that the record is locked within the B4B system. So we can't make a payment to this creditor until the changes to the bank details have been approved. On exiting from the B4B form, the user is then returned directly through to Sun Systems and it's as if they haven't actually left Sun Systems to jump out to B4B. From an approver's perspective, if we log into the approval portal in B4B, and here we can select our format, and go to the supplier bank detail approval. We can see here is the uh, record that has been changed. And the approver is uh, um, able to drill down into the bank detail record to view the details in full. And also from here we can inquire on the audit report and actually see the audit data that has been changed for this particular record. And then on that basis, the approver can then approve or reject the changes.